Hi, this is Tracy from Gift Basket Appeal, and today we're going to make a denim banner using red, white, and blue paint, and it's going to be perfect for the 4th of July. So let's get started. I took some old denim jeans and I cut them into triangles. And so this will be the smaller part of my banner at the bottom, and at the top will be the longer part that I'm going to attach to something so it can hang. But first, we're going to need to paint it. What I'm using is some painter's tape. And you don't need to use all of this tape. I could actually use two sides, but I'm just using this to demonstrate. I want a border around my edge where I'm going to paint. And so I don't want the paint to touch that edge. And so I'm just going to be placing this just on the edge, leaving just a little bit of a border, because I want that denim to still show. And I'm not, I'm going to leave a little bit of room up here where I won't paint. That way when I fold it under to attach it, I won't be folding any paint. And I'll list all of the supplies that we use below. So I'm going to start with red. And for mine, I'm just going to make it as plain as can be, just for demonstration purposes. I'm just doing stripes on here. But you can do it with whatever you want. So I'm just using my foam paintbrush. And I'm using my favorite acrylic paint. And all I'm doing is just going over it. Just make my stripes going across. And you don't have to tape it off on the edges if you don't want to. You can paint right up to the edge. It's just up to you what you prefer. Yep, I'm doing another video outside in case you were wondering. You can hear the birds and you can hear the air conditioning and I got the ceiling fan going. So this is a great atmosphere for creating. And so this is really fun. Um, this will make a great teen project because teenagers love denim. But guess what? So do I. And so I'm just doing these stripes going across here. Just going back and forth because I don't want my tape to kind of pull up. So I'm just going back this way with it. And I just want a definite line going across. I just figured stripes would be fun, especially since I'm doing this for the 4th of July. But you could do this in whatever color you want. This will make a great teen room decoration. When I was a librarian, I used to do a lot of teen crafts or crafts with the teens. And one of, the, one of my most popular programs that I did for teenagers was painting on denim. But this can be a family project, especially if you're creating a banner for maybe a party or something. Everyone can get one of the triangles and then just get to painting. And so I'm not even being really neat about this. It doesn't have to be perfect. And the brush allows me to make a straighter stripe on here as well. And I'm going to do red stripes, blue stripes, and white stripes. Okay, so I'm going to let this dry, and then we'll come back and let you see what it looks like. One other thing is that I can go over this again with another coat, so just... It just depends on how vibrant you want your colors to be. So once your paint is all dry, I'm just going to peel this back. And 
just to take that off. And so now it makes a definite line on the edge. I wanted that border to be around the edge. And that's the only reason why I put that tape on there, but you could do it without it. Okay, so that's all dry and it feels great. Let me show you what the other colors look like. Here's the blue one, and that's a little bit darker, but you can still see it. And here's the white one, and I only did three stripes on that one. But it's starting to come together already. So that's what it looks like while it's dry and it doesn't smear or anything. So now I'm going to come back and show you how we're going to string this all together. So now all we're going to do is make our banner. And so since I'm going to do it in a red, white, and blue pattern, I made 10 of these triangles. And so what I'm going to do and you could use like a fancy ribbon, thin ribbon, but I'm just using twine. And I'm just giving myself enough on the end there. And so I'm just gonna place this here. Remember, on the other side, I didn't want to paint any of this part. That way I'd have enough to fold over. And using my glue gun, I'm just going to come right along the edge here. And you don't have to be super neat because since I'm doing it on the back. And I'm just going to fold it over my twine. Just like that. And it's pretty quick to dry. I've used um, a glue gun on denim before and it works really well. And so you've got the first one strung right on there. And I see I came up a little bit too close to the edge, but I'm going to go back and cut that off, so that's okay. All right, and so now I'm going to put another one on here. Turning that over. I'm going to just line it up real close to the other one. And if you want to leave a space, you can. I'm not going to leave any space there. Put my glue on here. You can make this super long if you want. So I'm just pulling it right up to the edge there. flip it right over to let you see what it looks like so far. So that's what we've got so far. So it's coming along. I'll do this one more time so that you can see and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like with everything done. Like I said, this is super fun, super easy to make. You can mix it up depending on what season it is. You don't have to do just the 4th of July. But if you have those old jeans at home and you're looking for something to do with them, this is just another idea. Okay, and we've got our red, white, and blue so far. So that's really coming along. I really like the way that looks. And that glue is sticking extremely well on there. Okay, and we'll come back and I'll show you what the finished banner looks like.
As you can see, our red, white, and blue banner is all done. And I used 10 triangles for this one. But you could use less, you can use more, you can change it up in different colors. You could also put letters on them. That would be really cool. I really hope you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment below. Thanks for joining me. Bye.